Hi guys, today we're going to talk about issues that you might have with your portable traffic signals. Uh, please remember though that this isn't uh, training, this is just a, a bit of information for you and if you do use them at work then you should really have the correct information, instruction and training. Let's go and have a look at them and we'll find out what we can do. So first problem that we're going to encounter with troubleshooting is the all red, both lights stuck on red. We need to go to the master unit to have a look at that, so let's have a look, see what the problem is. Main problem with this ordinarily is that the all red button has been pressed to allow traffic to come into the site. All we need to do is switch it off. Little light goes out in the corner of the all red button. The screen will return to automatic so we know for sure that that red button's gone. So another problem that you can have is if the units have been left on manual control. This being the case, both lights could be red, one could be green, one could be red, but they will stay like that until you readjust them or take it off manual. Again, there's a little LED light in the corner. All we need to do is have a look at the unit to see if that light's lit. If it is, we just take it off manual and again, everything will return back into its normal cycle of automatic control. So a lack of communication between the two units is possible. Sometimes we can have that if our channels are set incorrectly. One unit could be on 25, the other could be on 30. Always check that first, make sure that you see both units on the same channel. If that's the case and there's still interference, this could be coming from an outside source, like another set of portable traffic signals in a close proximity, or it could even be a remote control from a crane or from a, a lorry loader. That being the case, always try and adjust your channels, go up or down at least 10 if you possibly can, and like that you should have a different frequency for your lights to work on. Lastly, another issue which we get commonly is the battery power. So always go through your display if your lights are showing red because their default setting is both red. So we just go through our display button, ensure that the battery power is correct. If it's lower than 11, then we need to change the batteries. Hopefully that's helped you out. If you do have any problems, uh, there's always a contact for you to come to. Please use the website, have a look for a number on there if you need to contact somebody and give us a ring and we'll try and help you out.